All right, delicious Brussels sprouts. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, like it couldn't be possible, uh, but really this is. If you ever look at a menu and you see a delicious entree, like a grilled veal chop, and then you look over and it, oh my God, it comes with Brussels sprouts. Damn it. Well, that's what happened to me. I ordered it anyway, thinking I was going to get those nasty, brown, round, smelly things you usually get when you see Brussels sprouts. And what I got was something so completely and utterly different and delicious. Um, I just, uh, I was very impressed and I've been copying this technique for years. What you're going to do is you're going to take your Brussels sprout, I got about a dozen, you're going to cut it in half, and to prep we're going to remove this uh, stem at the bottom. Actually it's not the stem, it's the root. All right. Well, actually on second thought it is the uh, stem, it's where the uh, Brussels sprout attaches to the main stem of the plant, so whatever. And why we're doing this little extra step here is so when we slice these we don't have a, a thick piece of that uh, stem end at the bottom. That's going to uh, not look as good and it's going to hold some of the leaves together and it's just not as uh, not as nice. So take that out. So once you got that prepped with your V-cut, just give them a slice across. I want this uh, pretty thin. Okay, the thinner the better. Uh, the key to this dish and why it's so vibrant and delicious and, and slightly crunchy is because it has such a short cooking time. And if you cut these too big, that's not going to work. So that's what you're looking for. All right, now, as you do this, you're going to have some of the bigger leaves that uh, fall off. Don't throw those away. Okay, put it five or six or seven together, roll them up, a little cigar shape, and just cut those the same way. And that's basically it for the Brussels sprout prep. Again, I had about 12 Brussels sprouts there. There they are. Very nice. Okay, put them down. All right, to flavor, I have a half a lemon. I'm going to squeeze that into a little ramekin first. This is going to go so quick on the stove. Everything's got to be prepped and ready. All right, butter, olive oil. i got about a teaspoon of each, salt and pepper. Now here we go. I want the pan, uh, a cold pan on the stove. Put your butter and olive oil in the cold pan, then turn it on high, and you're going to leave it on high. Okay, it's going to stay high the whole way. But I want it to start low because I want you to bring up the butter slowly to the temperature so you can control. I want it to be nice and nutty brown. If you put it into a hot pan, that happens too quick. So uh, I just kept uh, standing there waiting. I can smell that butter, that beautiful brown butter aroma. All right, there's nothing like that. And as soon as I see, you can actually see it there, the butter is just getting a little bit brown and I can smell that, the aroma I'm looking for. In go the chiffonaded uh, Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure if chiffonaded is a word. Uh, juice of half a lemon, and that little bit of liquid is going to basically uh, pan steam these. Uh, again, high heat, so this is going to go real quick. It's got just a beautiful color that happens. The, you can smell the lemon and the brown butter and the sizzling pan, and uh, man, it's really good. I can't believe I'm saying this about Brussels sprouts. All right, uh, if you see any pieces that are still uh, together, break them up once it's cooked nice and evenly. Uh, to finish this, not too difficult, little freshly ground black pepper, always freshly ground, and a little bit of salt. That's to taste, of course. If you want to throw a little cayenne, you could. And there we go. Now again, that was in the pan maybe, not even a minute, maybe 30, 45 seconds. Uh, it's going to have a little bit of texture to it. It's not supposed to be soft. It's just, uh, it's amazingly delicious. I, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get you to get, eat Brussels sprouts. Uh, again, I was so anti-Brussels sprout until I had this dish. And it was just so different. I just, uh, I think it's a, it's a real winner. So I hope you enjoy that. Give it a try.